Now, I think you still, whether you're being directive or not, I think you've still got to do a good step five. This is another one of those areas I touched about earlier I have difficulty with because this is a small step. It's not big, but when you think about it a little bit, we invest so much in this planning effort that a lot of managers fail to be as rigorous in asking the representatives if they're serious, if they'll try it, if they're committed. It isn't complicated. I think you just got to look them in the eyes and say, maybe you can go easy at first. You can start with fun later. What do you think? Now, that's not, very, that's not a very specific commitment. What do you think? Will it work? Is it worthwhile? Can you do it? One more question. Will you do it? That's what you're trying to smoke out. That's what you're trying to get to, is that sense of obligation, that deep sense of commitment, and you have got to hear it. That's my mistake. I assume I get commitment, or I listen to a lot of tapes, and I hear managers giving the commitment rather than soliciting. You know this in sales. It's asking, it's asking for the business. It's asking for the sales. It's practicing what we already know in the field force, and that is get the damn clothes. <laughs> So I think in coaching, we have to be the same way. We have to be a little rigorous. Don't have to, this doesn't take a lot of time. Just, what do you think? Can you do it? Will you do it? Listen to the response. I've asked that question many, many times in my own organizations, and it's funny sometimes how hard it is to get a clear answer to those three questions. Hard to get a clear answer. So I just stick with it. Crystallize that commitment a little bit. Mm -hmm.